Good morning, good morning. Hey there, YouTube fam. Welcome to another installment of The Lost One. And we're here in beautiful Mosca, Colorado. That's M-O-S-C-A. Uh, it's about the middle of the state. And right behind me is Great Sand Dunes National Park. And uh, it's a beautiful area. It feels like a beach out here. Uh, there's like salt flats out here. Um, it's a, or we're out here early in the morning because we're here on the missing person's case of Rochelle Hammond. And uh, she was a 33-year-old Native American woman. She was actually Cherokee Native American. Um, and she was uh, 33 years old and she went missing. She left her mother's house. So her mother lives here in Moscow and she had been living here for three months with her mother. She was a mechanic. She had her own tools. She had a good job. Um, she had a dog so that's the big thing with me like how could you just leave a dog you know if you were just going to disappear off the face of the earth and go start a new life that's the hardest part for me to understand is when people like leave their animals uh, <clears throat> so the circumstances around her case was she her mother went to go get her cell phone service re-upped or something with the cell phones so rochelle could have a new cell phone so when her mom was gone on that trip, Rochelle left her keys, her wallet, her, uh, her money, and her dog, and just supposedly went on a walk, and she was last seen leaving her mother's house, which is actually just a couple miles as a crow flies this way behind us. And um, so that's where we're headed, actually. But she was seen leaving her house, walking away in a black tank top, tan shorts, and like either flip-flops or tennis shoes, and seen heading towards Alamosa, which is 15 miles south of here, straight south. So this is north, this is south. Um, she was seen walking down the road and then boom, never heard from, never seen from ever again. Her mom is never, nothing, she just disappeared. Uh, seemed like off the face of the earth. Her mom thinks she had, might have been uh, involved in like trafficking or some sort of uh, human trafficking or something. Um, but we're, um, there wasn't very much of a, a search uh, put into it. Uh, several days later, after sh she had been disappeared, her mother um, finally got some help from the local law enforcement. They came out with a dog, but they only searched like one or two little lots like right up from the house. So we're going to start at ground zero at the point where she was last seen at the mother's house. I already got permission from the mom. I've been in touch. Um, and we're actually going to have a couple of articles of Rochelle's clothing that hopefully the dogs can hit on some scents. But we're going to start right there at the house. Hey, Cog. And uh, we're just going to head south towards Alamosa, which is the route she would have taken. Um, there's uh, speculation that she met a couple of people, maybe a couple of guys. Uh, Diablo has been thrown out there, these weird names. Um, I don't know, but uh, there's she was seen by law enforcement the weekend before with another woman in this area called Devil's Playground. I'm not kidding y'all, Devil's Playground. And that's in right here in Alamosa down here. So uh, it's like a public lands area that the law enforcement has to constantly um, keep an eye on because there's so much drugs and, and nefarious activity going on up there. So I feel like that'd be a good place to search. So we're going to start from the house. We're going to go south towards Alamosa. And that'll be today. Today's day one of the search. And I also wanted to just throw out a little. Uh, let's talk about how weird this place really is. Um, so right behind us, I don't know if you can see, but that is Great Sand Dunes National Park. And that's like the desert mountain area where you can rent a snowboard and you can snowboard down the dunes. And it, I mean, it's a beautiful area, but guys, the dark energy. And I wanted to talk about this. Gabby Petito and Brian Laundrie were camped out right over here right before they had the Moab incident so that's one really strange there's all these strange couples that came here not only that Chris Watts the guy that killed his wife and children up in northern Colorado the monster POS that got that confessed to killing his old family and dumping them in an oil well him and his mistress rented snowboards you can l look it up and we're here as well so not only that listen to this this is a true story and you won't hear this or see this uh on youtube or in the news because they try to keep it under wraps but this is 100 percent true there's a married couple um that came here on their honeymoon and when they approached the gate so when you come in the front gate there's a 
you know, a national forest and then the big gates and they got these big steel swinging gates. Well, the gate was supposedly chained open for the public to enter the park. Well, this brand new married couple honeymoon was driving through the gate and apparently the wind unhooked the chain and the gate swung and decapitated the bride. And this is 100% true. Decapitated right in front of her newly wedded husband. He was okay. He survived the incident, but witnessed his wife decapitated. You know, I know it sounds crazy. And, you know, I, let's talk. Let's also talk about um, the UFOs in this area. I've done a lot of research about Alamosa. And right outside of Alamosa is where we're at. And in this area, there have been 130 cattle mutilations since 1967. Um, a lot of UFO sightings, reportings. There's all kinds of UFO towers where you can camp. And this whole area kind of feeds off of the UFO phenomena, tourist attraction type stuff. Um, so they had, uh, they've had 130 cattle mutilations. And this is like precision cattle mutilations. I mean, I'm not going to go down the rabbit hole here, but I just want to point out uh, strange occurrences in this area. And uh, just stuff that you know can't be overlooked there's a lot of weird energies around here a lot of killers have been here um, they say that it's these sands there's a, there's geothermal activity magnetic activity around here that can't be explained um, but like the cattle mutilations it's not just some guy out killing cattle it, this is like precision mutilations all the blood drained out of the cattle anyway we're not going to go down that rabbit hole right now but um <clears throat> There's definitely strange occurrences that go out here all the time and uh, reported all the time that the state troopers are investigating it right now as we speak. So, but anyway, so that's what's going on here today. Um, it's beautiful out here. Yesterday it was windy and snowy and today it's sunny and uh, it's time to surf. The dogs are pumped up, we're excited, we're in good shape, good health, we're ready to rock. And um, so we're gonna start out at uh, Miss Hammond's house. And we're gonna go from there. Of course, here comes the wind. So it might be time to get close to ending this video. But today's day one. We're gonna start at the house here, day one. And we're gonna start from there, head towards Alamosa, and that's the plan for today. And uh, maybe we can say a prayer for Miss Hammond. She's been going through a lot. And uh, she, you know, she really misses her daughter when she deserves closure. She says even if, it, if she knew that she was dead, it would be, you know, some sort of closure for her. So that's tough tough words to hear from a mother but um so we're gonna give it the college try we're gonna put in a, a, a effort here till friday we're so, so we got several days we're gonna give it the hit it hard and uh stay tuned you're not gonna miss hopefully we can get into some good action and uh find some stuff hopefully the dogs are able to um, bring some closure to some family so thanks for t tuning in hit that like and subscribe on the way out and uh we'll talk to you soon Have a blessed day.